well, I can't actually say, can someone take out the... <laughs> Maybe we can cut that bit. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Umit here at the first qualifier of 2023. We have the Masters national champion and previous Masters world champion, Ben Elvin. Really close series today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, it was really close. Um, you know, light wind, complicated tide. Um, it was all very, you know, the results were very up and down. Home club, Stokes Bay? Um, yeah, home club. Um, you know, you get a little bit of a home advantage with, the, you know, kind of knowing what the tide's going to do and that kind of stuff. Um, unfortunately, you know, conditions we had this weekend, not classic Stokes Bay conditions. <laughs> so, you know, so maybe let's be much. let's be clear. It was basically a northerly, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So blowing blowing off the land, uh, you know, very turbulent breeze, you know, big pressure differences, very hard to predict. So quite tricky. And you said the results were really close. You tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah. So uh, you won, John, <laughs> um, on count back by nature of a third place. I think. So that's a. So for people at home, there's uh, most first procedure. So yep. both had a first, both had a second. I had a third. I think you're. I had a fourth. You had a fourth. So I, yeah. That close. So yeah. Good. Well, <laughs> good, good well done, John. <laughs> I, I did actually ask Ben whether he wanted to interview me, and he declined. So uh, here we are. Uh, what's next for you this year, apart from um, lots more sailing at Stokes Bay, I guess? Yeah, lots more sailing at Stokes Bay. Um, qualifier at Weymouth in a couple of weeks' time, so so going to be doing that. Um, not doing much on the international circuit this year. Um, maybe a couple of Europa Cups, uh, debating whether or not to do the Worlds in Poland. We'll see if that happens, see if I can get enough, get enough training in. Um, but yeah, looking forward to you know, a little bit of travel and going to some nice warm places. Brilliant. Well, I shall see you in Weymouth. Yeah, see you there. Actually, we can see it's recording because of the bright red light yes. there. <laughs> but yes. It's not always so obvious. So can you introduce yourself to the folks at home? Uh, I'm Sam Whaley. And uh, it's a pretty big year, 2023. What's, what's happening? Because there's a rather large and important event happening next year. Yeah, so next year is obviously the Olympic Games uh, in Marseille, um, part of the Paris 2024 Olympics. And this year, theoretically, someone could get selected from uh, Great Britain to represent the, uh, the Ilka class. So it's full guns ahead, and that's just for the people at home, that's the Ilka 6 and Ilka 7, as you're, you're campaigning the Ilka 7, and you just won the Stokes Bay qualifier. Yes, I did. Pretty close uh, weekend, actually, been pretty uh, all over conditions, as I'm sure you guys are aware of. And I mean, we've had some pretty crazy stuff happen, but it's uh, great to be here. A bit cold, but um, I'm trying to get used to it. Brilliant. And uh, can you just tell us a little bit about what's going to happen for the rest of the season? Because uh, it's, it's going to be pretty busy. Yeah, so we're, we're basically going to Palma first. So we've got Palma, Princess Sophia Regatta at the end of March. Um, then Hiers. Uh, then we go to Marseille for a bit, a bit of Kiel Week in Germany. So the kind of the usual circuit for um, our internationals. So mo notable mission, you're not going to Almir? Albert, no, no. <laughs> well, we might go to Almir, but at the moment it's not part of our plans, nor are we going to go to the Europeans next week, unfortunately. We've been in Australia over the winter and we kind of just thought it was a bit much to go Australia, Europeans, Palma Hiers. And a, a quick shout out, this is filmed at the first qualifier of 2023, but Brits are now one, two and three in the world rankings, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool to be, uh, be part of that as well. So Brit one, two, three, so uh, yeah, if someone can, well, I can't actually say, can someone take out the... <laughs> Maybe we could cut that bit, but uh, yeah, I would be, I'd be nice to be number one by the end of the year. Brilliant. Well, thanks ever so much for your time and uh, no doubt see you in Palmer. Yeah. Cheers, John. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe.